Hey guys, Steven here. Kind of a long time no see for the automotive channel. <clears throat> I'm on my way to AutoZone to get a starter solenoid for the F-150. But however, I'm not going to be taking that to the AutoZone. I'll be hopping in the Expedition. Because I'll be coming back anyway to, you know, come get my tools and we're going to go to my parents' old house and get it placed there. Then later in the day I'm going to come home, disconnect my battery on the F-150, try to start up my mom's car. So yeah. We haven't had the best luck with our vehicles lately and we managed to get the F-150 up and running but <laughs> I just want it to be completely up and running so I don't have to start it off with a screwdriver anymore. And I'm wearing my mask for safety. I meant to have an upload on the vlog channel yesterday, but I just kind of forgot about that. So if y'all are also from the vlog channel, I'm sorry about that. But don't worry, I'll, I'll upload this coming Saturday. All right, so just stay tuned. But I don't think we've done a cold start on this expedition, though. And I'm going to review it at some point. <sighs> Alright. Plus the air works in here, unlike the F-150. So, with that being said, I'm going to head down to AutoZone, get this part. And then come back home, get my tools. <sighs> then after that, meet up with my dad and change out this part. All right, got my starter solenoid. Let's hope it's the right one. Got the thirty dollar one. Safety first with the mask. All right, I'm gonna run back home, change vehicles, and get my tools and. Head back down to my parents' old house. Hey, Spot. Just come out to visit me. It's good. I really appreciate that. This, we're going to get this done later in the video. So just stay tuned for that. I think Spock wants to go inside. So let's go inside. Alright, just loaded everything into the truck. About to go out and start it for the day. And just gotta tell my mom where I'm going and then I'll be ready to leave. <coughs> Started it up yesterday, so let's see if it'll start up today. Oh yeah. Safety first. I'll just pick up when we get there, all right? All right, here we are. In Salt House, cutting down some trees. Let's check this out. Oop, don't, want, don't want to lose that. Here's this new part right here. It's just gonna go right over there. The current one is, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna connect to your, disconnect to your battery. Oops, I think that's the wrong way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the battery over to here. So it won't get into the way. I don't know what that was about, but okay. Set it right there. 
it down. Set it right over here so we don't lose it. Which one is this? Nine. going to use this to disconnect to the, the negative side right there. Stain by. All right, we are back home now. So this is actually how we did it. As you saw, I removed the battery. Then, you know, so it wouldn't cause any shocking. Put the battery aside. Then I unplugged that little thing right up there. Then untightened those and disconnected that plastic thing, those two wires. And then after that, I disconnected those bolts right there that are attached to the firewall. Then placed the old solenoid aside, and yes, hands are still dirty. Start red stuff. That red stuff is not blood, it's just from the battery. Then I just connected the new one right there, tightened it up. Then I put that back on, put those two wires back on, tightened that up, and I put that back on, and I just put the battery in, and it's back and running. I don't, I don't think I'll need to jump it off anymore, which is nice. Now, since I got that fixed up, I can fix the C-Max. So let's go ahead and get into that. Alright, we're going to set this aside so I can actually get the car out and drive it once I get it up and running. Here's the battery from the F-150. I just disconnected it. And I'm also starting to learn how to place things on my cars, which is nice. Anyways, just going to connect the jumper cables up to this battery. Then I'll connect it up, the positive up to here, negative right down there on that little stick then I'm gonna see if I could get this thing started I'm gonna drive it around the neighborhood for a little bit then I'm gonna back it in so then whenever my mom needs her car jumped off I could just pull the F-150 or any of our vehicles Expedition Crown Vic it don't matter like right up to here just jump it off all right so staying by I'm gonna get this thing connected and Hope it starts. All right, got this all connected. It sparked when I put it on the negative, so let's just see if it'll crank up. Ah! Got it up and running. Part of our so All right. Right, I actually just noticed this, but I guess I over tightened the battery thing, so looks like that's gonna have to be replaced soon. But I'll probably replace it sometime this week. So just stand by. Alright, I think I'm just gonna end off the video right there. I hope you all enjoyed it. I went ahead and got the little battery piece I need from my grandpa's. It's kind of it. Just chilling. What do you think? Should I get a boat? Uh, I don't know. Maybe for the vlog channel. Definitely not for this channel. <laughs> so just be sure to subscribe. Be sure to thumbs up this video. Thumbs up any of my videos. Get your friends to watch my channel. Get them to subscribe. Subscribe to both channels. I'd really appreciate that. And those of y'all that are on the vlog channel, I have another camper video coming up something that I could possibly be doing to it. I think y'all are going to have to stay tuned to find out. And yep, I'll talk to y'all later.